In the 1950s, a Grenade Revolution took place in the American weapons industry. The United States first developed the classic M79 Grenade Launcher, a single-shot individual weapon capable of firing high-explosive grenades, illumination rounds, smoke rounds, and more. It effectively filled the firepower gap between hand grenades and mortars. The only drawback was its slow rate of fire. Although weapon designers at the time had already mastered the principles of automatic firearms, achieving automation in grenade launchers posed a challenge. In the end, designers resurrected the almost obsolete concept of hand-cranked firing from the scrap heap and created the predecessor of the MK-19 grenade launcher, the MK-18 hand-cranked grenade launcher. The MK-18 was the last known bolt-action crank-operated firearm after the introduction of the Gatling machine gun. Its hand-cranked design was similar to the hand-cranked Gatling, except that it fired grenades instead of bullets. The designers installed a handle on the right side of the MK-18 grenade launcher. Soldiers only needed to install the grenade belt in the correct position, close the breech cover, and then fire grenades by cranking the handle at the desired rate. Of course, to prevent jamming, cranking couldn't be too fast. The MK-18 was deployed on U.S. patrol boats for use by patrol boat units and special forces. During the Vietnam War, the U.S. military often faced guerrilla attacks when traversing rivers in North Vietnam. The M60 machine guns on patrol boats were insufficient to counter the numerous North Vietnamese soldiers. With the introduction of the MK-18 grenade launcher, the U.S. military could retreat to the patrol boats and fire a series of shells by cranking the MK-18 a few times. This created enough close-range artillery suppression to repel the pursuing Vietnamese troops. The hand-cranked joyride weapon was widely embraced by U.S. soldiers. From its production in 1965 to its retirement in 1968, a total of 1,200 MK-18 were produced by the U.S. military. The MK-18 disappeared from the scene within just three years, not because of its performance but because the U.S. military developed a more advanced, fully automatic grenade launcher that didn't require hand cranking, the MK-19. The MK-19 fully automatic grenade launcher was developed by the U.S. Navy's Naval Ordnance Station and produced by General Dynamics and SACO Defense. The first production model, MK-19 Mod Zero, was deployed in the Vietnam War in 1968. Around 1971, the U.S. military made improvements to the MK-19 Mod Zero and designated it as the MK-19 Mod 1. The U.S. military planned further improvements to create the more easily producible MK-19 Mod 2, but there was no follow-up. It wasn't until 1976 that the U.S. Navy Naval Weapons Center continued the improvement program and introduced the MK-19 Mod 3 in 1981, which is still in use today. Compared to the previous models, the MK-19 Mod 3 reduced the number of components by 53% and allowed disassembly without the need for specialized tools. This greatly simplified the production process and eased maintenance difficulties. The MK-19 Grenade Launcher has a total length of 1.09 meters and weighs approximately 62.43 kilograms with its tripod. It closely resembles a heavy machine gun and fires 40 mm caliber high-explosive grenades. The MK-19 Grenade Launcher employs a blowback-operated mechanism, with the barrel at the front, followed by the sight and firing mechanism, and the ammunition feed system on the left side. Before firing, a soldier opens the breech cover and manually loads a grenade into the chamber, then closes the cover. Inside the cover, there is a movable pawl that allows the sequential loading of grenades from left to right. After closing the breech cover, the soldier can start firing by pulling the loading handle. When the loading handle is pulled, the main driving rod and the secondary driving rod act simultaneously, loading the grenade in contact with the pawl to the right. The grenade aligns with the extractor at the rear. When the soldier pulls the trigger for the first time, the extractor locks into the rear groove of the grenade. Pulling the loading handle again brings the grenade down to the firing position, aligning it with the barrel for firing. When the trigger is pulled for the second time, 
the grenade rapidly moves forward under the influence of the spring until the casing is stopped by a metal plate. This process is repeated to achieve full automation. The theoretical firing rate of the MK-19 grenade launcher can reach 375 to 400 rounds per minute. However, the actual rate of fire is approximately 40 rounds per minute, considering the time required for reloading and barrel cooling. The effective range of the MK-19 is about 1,500 meters, with a maximum range of 2,212 meters. The MK-19 is capable of firing 40 by 53 mm grenades, compared to the 40 by 46 mm grenades used by the M203 single-shot underbarrel grenade launcher. The MK-19's ammunition utilizes internal energy for automatic cycling, resulting in higher muzzle velocity and increased firepower. The minimum arming distance for the grenades launched by the MK-19 is 75 meters. The muzzle device effectively removes smoke generated during firing, enhancing concealment. The top of the MK-19's receiver can accommodate the ANTVS-5 night vision sight, providing enhanced night combat capabilities. The typical round used in the MK-19 is the M430 HEDP grenade, which has an effective range of 1,500 meters and a maximum range of 2,200 meters. The M430 grenade is capable of penetrating 5 mm of armor and can penetrate 2 inches of rolled homogeneous armor in a direct hit. It can be employed against armored personnel carriers and even infantry fighting vehicles. When the grenade detonates upon impact, it can cause casualties within a 15-meter radius, with a lethal effect up to a 5-meter radius. Soldiers using the MK-19 can rapidly unleash a volley of grenades, covering a large area within the weapon's firing arc, making it a nightmare for enemy infantry. Automation is another significant feature of the MK-19 grenade launcher. Once a target is acquired, the MK-19's firing control system automatically adjusts the barrel's azimuth and elevation to ensure grenade accuracy. This technology greatly reduces the need for manual operation, resulting in improved shooting precision and consistency. The MK-19 can be carried by infantry teams of two or more soldiers and can also be mounted on various vehicles, such as Humvees, military jeeps, trucks, armored recovery vehicles, amphibious vehicles, assault boats, patrol boats, helicopters, and large naval vessels. As an infantry heavy weapon, the MK-19 is highly favored by the US military for its reliability and terrifying suppressive power against soft targets. It has become the primary weapon on various US military vehicles. Since its introduction in 1968, the MK-19 has been in service with the US military for 55 years, with the improved MK-19 Mod 3 variant having been in use for 42 years. The US military has always pursued cutting-edge weaponry. Why does this weapon from half a century ago still receive favor from the US military? Speaking of which, it is necessary to mention the different weapon requirements in various operational scenarios for the United States. In combat, artillery can engage targets over dozens of kilometers, serving as the backbone of long-range firepower. Hand grenades and conventional grenade launchers are used to attack targets within tens to hundreds of meters, serving as the main firepower in close combat. However, there exists a range gap between hundreds of meters and dozens of kilometers, which was traditionally filled by mortars and cannons. Mortars are indirect fire weapons with significant firepower but slow rates of fire, making them less effective against fortified positions. Cannons have even greater firepower but are larger in size and weight, requiring multiple personnel to operate and causing logistical challenges. Turning to the MK-19, as an automatic grenade launcher, it combines direct and indirect fire capabilities, effectively addressing various battlefield situations. The MK-19 also possesses sufficient lethality with a higher rate of fire than mortars, providing instant suppressive firepower. Its portability, allowing easy transport by vehicles or a few infantry soldiers, gives the MK-19 rapid response capabilities, making it a formidable weapon accompanying infantry assaults. 
Initially, the U.S. military equipped patrol boats with MK-19 during the Vietnam War. Later, it was discovered that the MK-19 could be mounted not only on its original tripod but also on most vehicles and helicopters. Consequently, the MK-19 quickly spread throughout the U.S. Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps. It gained widespread popularity among soldiers. Through multiple real-world engagements, the U.S. military found that the MK-19 grenade launcher has greater lethality against targets, especially infantry, than heavy machine guns. As a result, there were plans to replace the 12.7mm heavy machine guns with MK-19. However, experiments showed that the combined use of MK-19 grenade launchers and heavy machine guns yielded the highest lethality, allowing the enemy to experience the intensity of a hail of bullets. These various characteristics and advantages have made the MK-19 grenade launcher an indispensable weapon within the U.S. military. In addition to domestic use, the United States has exported the MK-19 to many countries. For example, as early as 1974, the U.S. Naval Weapons Center provided Israel with 605 units of the MK-19 Mod 1 grenade launcher. The MK-19 Mod 3 variant acquired by Israel was even named Maklar. Israel extensively equipped these automatic grenade launchers in its infantry and mechanized forces. Apart from Israel, countries such as Sweden, Australia, and Saudi Arabia are also known to have acquired the MK-19 grenade launcher. Over the course of more than half a century, the MK-19 has participated in numerous wars and armed conflicts, including the Vietnam War, Gulf War, Somali Civil War, Afghanistan War, Iraq War, Syrian Civil War, and many others. Now, the United States has provided the MK-19 grenade launcher to Ukraine, and it is believed that this weapon will also shine on the Russian-Ukrainian battlefield. Starting in 2006, the U.S. military began testing a new fully automatic grenade launcher with a fire control system called the MK-47. The MK-47 is equipped with state-of-the-art detection, aiming, and computer programming technologies. Its advanced fire control system incorporates laser ranging, night vision, and ballistic computer technologies. In addition to being able to launch all NATO standard 40mm high-velocity grenades like the MK-19, the MK-47 can also fire the MK-285 smart grenade, which can be set to explode at a predetermined distance. Shortly after the birth of the MK-47, General Dynamics secured a production contract worth $23 million. In 2009, they obtained another contract worth $12 million. The U.S. Special Forces have used the MK-47 in Afghanistan and Iraq, giving this batch of weapons the name Advanced Lightweight Automatic Grenade Launcher. Apart from being allocated to the U.S. military, the Australian Defense Force and the Israeli Defense Forces have also ordered a considerable number of MK-47s to gradually replace the MK-19 currently in service. It is believed that in the near future, the MK-19 automatic grenade launchers in the U.S. military and its allied forces will be gradually phased out. With the escalation of the conflict in Ukraine, it remains uncertain whether the U.S. military will provide the new MK-47 to the Ukrainian forces. Considering the current situation, the substantial number of MK-19 grenade launchers supported by the U.S. military should be sufficient for Ukraine to cope with the current battlefield conditions.